This is for Year 12 Specialist that comes out of 4H, it's question number 10 concerning um, proving that these three points are collinear. Okay, so I'm going to say, let, so I've got the Argan diagram, that's 0. Point P represent Z, so if Z equaled A plus BI, there, that's A and that's B, that's point P there. And this angle, theta, the tan of theta is B on A, therefore theta equals the inverse tan of B on A, which means the gradient is equal to B on A. Now I've got to find Q. Q is 1 on the conjugate of Z. So OQ will equal uh, Q will equal 1 on A minus BI which if I multiply by A plus BI is equal to A plus BI over A squared plus B squared. Therefore, Q is 1 on A squared plus B squared, A plus BI. So if I was to represent Q, Q is going to be somewhere along here where the angle of Q will be the inverse tangent of B on A. So it's the same angle. So alpha equals beta and Q is somewhere along here depending upon the value of 1 on a squared plus b squared. So since alpha equals the inverse tan of b on a and b and theta equals the inverse tan of b on a, therefore alpha equals theta, therefore op and oq are parallel, therefore op and q are collinear. Okay, now I know, so what's the ratio of the distance of OP to do with the distance of OQ? Okay, the distance of OP is going to equal A squared plus B squared, and the distance of OQ is going to equal 1 on the magnitude of A squared plus B squared. So the ratio of OP to OQ, OP to OQ should be A squared plus B squared 1 on A squared plus B squared I actually don't need the modular signs because A squared plus B squared will actually be positive um, which is the magnitude of A squared plus B squared squared to 1 um, it had to be in terms of Z. The magnitude of Z equals A squared plus B squared square root. Therefore, this is going to be the magnitude of Z squared to 1.